Hi, baby loves. I was just about to go to sleep and oh my gosh, Kyle dropped some tea on her Amazon Live that I had to share with you guys. I promised I'd start doing some gossip videos. So I'm going to drop another video tomorrow, but this one was really breaking. So I had to drop it. It was awesome. Listen to so this. So you guys remember this. Paris Hilton drops this against Mauricio after the trailer or a promo drops from Buying Beverly Hills where he tells the story about how he left Hilton in Highland from his perspective, which didn't really sound nice about Rick Hilton. Anyway, Paris strikes back and says, my father's a consummate gentleman and has always taken the higher road. He would never speak negatively about his family, especially in the press. Frankly, we are all sick of him using the Hilton name every chance he gets to plug his lame show. It's enough already. Really big words coming from Paris Hilton, whose brand these days is unicorns and rainbows, which is not at all her character. But that's what she's pretending to be now. And this was the first indicator that the real Paris is still in there somewhere. So yesterday, Kyle Richards did an Amazon Live and she's trying to build her Amazon channel to sell stuff. And she dropped her reaction to Paris Hilton, plus some other tea, which I edited in here for you. Are you tired of question after question about your relationship with Morgan? It's a little exhausting. Um, H asked, do you know anything about season 14? I do not. Laura asked, I love you and I love whoever makes you feel loved and happy and healthy. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. Bianca says, hi, Kyle. Were you surprised how open Mo was on the Blind Beverly Hills trailer regarding his departure from Hilton Highland? And what are your thoughts on your niece Paris and her response to Mauricio? Um, I am just kind of tired of, you know, hearing about everything over and over again. And I, it was for me, it was like, oh, the reunion is done. Thank God. I can exhale and relax a little bit. And then I was like, oh, not too soon, Kyle. There's more stuff coming, you know, and my family's all in the public eye. And, you know, it's weird to think that, you know, I'm on television. My niece is on television. My sister is on television on her show. And she's been on my show. My family's on television. My daughter's. It's, it's, it's a lot. And, um, something I never imagined to be. So yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot. What can I say? Amazon customer says, I'm really impressed with you. I can't imagine having my private life splattered all over television and social media. Um, it, it's thank you. Thank so you I wonder that. what the cousins said to each other. I'm going to imagine that Paris Hilton was like, stop bringing my family into things that has nothing to do with your show or your family is no need to go there. And, you know, it seems like really strategic for ratings. And I'd say that Mauricio's girls were like, listen, you know, there have been rumors spread and your mom brought it up on the reunion first that our dad poached agents from Hilton and Highland when he left. And that's not true. He took his own agents that were working for him at Hilton and Highland under Rick. And so it's not fair, the story. It needs to be corrected. And it's our family business and it's our prerogative. And I'd say Paris was pissed. But then she also realized she helped them with that text and probably, you know, left it like, okay, I'm not gonna help them anymore with any more texts, good or bad. Um, Instagram question. Who are you most in contact with now from RHOBH? Who am I most in con contact with now? To be honest, like when we shoot the reunion, everybody kind of goes like quiet and like goes disappears. Um, like I said, I dinner with Sutton, um, messages with Erica, talked about getting together with Garcelle. I mean, I've, you know, DM um, Crystal, Anna Marie. Um, so, you know, but hung out, nobody yet. I haven't really hung out with anybody. I um, was away and kind of just needed to like decompress like they all need to as well. Um, In other words, we're only friends when we can actually help each other socially. Otherwise, we're not really hanging out. Um, Kyle, you look gorgeous as usual. Please settle this once and for all the fans. How late was Dorit to the reunion? 
Um, fans have seen Dorit keep the girls waiting several times on the show in previous seasons. Okay, I'm gonna be honest about that. I heard that whole thing, you know, on I just saw on Instagram, people kind of going back and forth about that. I definitely was not sitting out there for two hours. So I don't know where that came from. Now, with that said, were we not brought out to the set until later because Dorit was having a um, word of malfunction? Maybe, and then we came out and then we still sat a little bit, but it was absolutely not two hours at all. Um, so I don't know about that. So you know what, I'm gonna let them settle that between the two of them. Crystal um, swears up and down that it wasn't a wardrobe malfunction and it was two hours and they even like started the reunion without her, it was so long. And I don't see why Kyle would have her back at this point either. So I'm thinking we split the difference. It's probably true that Dorit was late, but maybe not two hours late, maybe a little bit more conservative on the number. And Crystal was just like, it felt like two hours. And Kyle, I'd say, is calling out that Dorit was late and it had to do with the wardrobe malfunction. Maybe. I don't know. I just, Little Red Riding Hood, was it worth it? I don't know. All right. Okay, so that's oh, that. Another thing, Crystal does not believe that it had to do with the wardrobe malfunction. She thinks she was doing videos along with it, no matter what Dorit says. Like, whether those videos aired, there were videos and photos being taken. Fasha. <laughs> All right, you guys, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. <laughs> and somebody send me the damn robber that supposedly got arrested at, at Marshall's robbing Dory, you know, that they got him after. Yeah, right. Did you see PK and Dorit's testimony? Totally different. If not, I posted it in the Patreon. Something stinks again.